Running out of money in retirement is a frightful thought for many people at or near retirement. Here to discuss how to stretch your retirement dollars is John Kelly of Kelly Financial Services in Hickory Hills, Illinois. John, welcome back. Thanks for having me, Scott. So according to a study, 61% of the respondents said running out of money was their number one fear in retirement. Why has that uh, thought become so scary these days? Well, when we sit down with our clients, Scott, actually it is the number one reason by far. Uh, years ago, people had pension plans when they worked with companies for 30, 40 years. Today, they do not have that luxury. They had the 401ks is pretty much the predominant retirement source for people other than Social Security. And with market corrections be before retirement could drastically affect that. Most of our clients, their goals in retirement is to spend time with their families, their grandkids, travel, buy some luxury cars, just enjoy retirement. Market corrections and running out of money can drastically affect that. John, obviously stock market volatility has, has played a role here. Can you, can you talk about that? Well, the corrections that we had about four or five years ago drastically affected people's retirements. People who had planned retirements, knew the dollar amount they could live on a monthly basis. The huge corrections of 30, 40% we had in the market just clobbered a lot of people's 401k plans and it drastically reduced their income. So now, like I said, it goes back to, can I outlive my money? Do I need to go get a new job? These are things that a lot of our clients are really, really concerned about. And interest rates are now at historic lows. How does that uh, affect retirement? Well, today when we sit down with clients, the CDs that were available paying 5% are coming due actually this year. This is the last year for them. So if we have a client who had $200,000 and they were getting 5% on their CD, they were earning $10,000 a year in income. Today, when they come for renewal, the average five-year CD is about 1.5%. So you're talking $3,000 a year in income. So that's a 70% reduction in their retirement income. It really can affect their retirement planning. John, do you think good tax planning can help stretch retirement income further right now? Well, today a lot of clients are still looking to go to CDs. What they don't realize is the interest that they're earning on them are also taxable. And with inflation at 2 to 3%, they're actually losing money to inflation. When they were earning 5%, they were still making money on CDs. The problem with CDs today, they're getting taxed every year. It also affects their Social Security tax, which also reduces their retirement income. Moving them to tax-deferred vehicles, we're able to reduce the taxes on their Social Security, giving them more spendable income. So really, this sounds, uh, for retirees, like a tough position to be in. How can they fix it? Well, sit down with a retirement specialist who specializes in the area, look at different old tax deferred vehicles that are available today that can d reduce tax, reduce your income taxes and but give you more spendable income. Do not be spending any more money to Washington than you need to. And lastly, John, for those retirees on a fixed income, where should they go? Well, start by sitting down with a good retirement planning specialist who has different alternatives to tax to taxable investments. There's some great tax deferred vehicles out there and a lot of the annuities we work with today have income riders that can give a guaranteed lifetime income that they can never outlive, but also keep up with inflation. A person retiring today in their 60s with a life expectancy of 85, a fixed income all the way through retirement is not going to make it. Inflation is just going to eat up their retirement assets. By having a, a retirement step up where their in income will increase every single year with the cost of living, it can really help them 10, 15 years down the road. All right, John, thanks again. And if someone wanted to get in touch with you, how would they do that? They can give us a call at the office, 708-576-8999, or they can go on our website for some great information at kellyfinancialservicesinc.com. John, as always, a pleasure. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Scott. My guest has been John Kelly with Kelly Financial Services in Hickory Hills, Illinois. I'm Scott Drake. Thanks for watching Annuity News Now.